Welcome back to another review at Total Toy Recon. Today we are dealing with the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Luke 1-6 scale bust. This currently retails for 120 smackers at General Giant. Um, you can always order directly from their website. Free shipping usually applies, uh, especially at that price point. Um, I am really uh, excited. I have had several Luke's. Uh, from General Giant in recent years, uh, my favorite of which has been the Crate Luke. I know that's from The Last Jedi. Not a lot of fun uh, for some people, but I will, I will include the review of it here at the end. Uh, we've also recently done a statue of Luke. Eh, I shouldn't say recently. It's probably like two years ago now of Luke on Tatooine with a moisture evaporator. Another really fun one. Um, we've done a lot of Luke Skywalker stuff, you know, in short. Um, and I would like to go out there and say that my very first gentle giant ever was an animated version of Luke on Dagobah in his rebel pilot costume. It is by far my favorite gentle giant piece, probably because it was my first. Uh, so we're going to open him up today. We're going to check him out, see if he's got any different kind of, um, you know, pieces or, you know, is it all magnets, how we put it together? We have, according to the box, 326 of 3,000. And again, retails for 120. So here we go. All right. Now, as we open them up here, I'd like to add that this one is stamped with the Star Wars logo. It happens sometimes. Sometimes it's a premier collection one. Sometimes it's not. I maybe think I should start looking at the size of some of these. Is it all mini bus? Is it all big ones? I don't know. And I don't know why I'm obsessed with trying to figure it out, but I am for some reason. I don't quite know why. So we're going to open him up now and get him out of the styrofoam coffin. Ooh. So we do have the letter of authenticity, which is the baseball card for General Giant. It is number 326 of 3000. Now we do have several things here. We do have the blue lightsaber that catches the light ever so nicely. We've got uh, the blaster hand and blaster hand, and we've got the lightsaber hand. So that's cool. So you do actually get two different versions of Luke. So um, interesting. So I'm already. I know what I'm looking at. And it's the face on the box. Now, so there's Luke. And we're going to look at the face here. So uh, I'm trying to catch the right amount of light so you can see it. Does it really look like Mark Hamill? I think it actually kind of does. And this is something that, you know, obviously, which is why we do reviews here and we take a look at things. Um, this face and this face... You know, uh, first thing I'll say here is maybe it's the angle of which it's taken at, but um, the nose is very different. The eyes here seem further apart. The nose seems a little bit broader and po not bro broader here, pointier here. Um, so here we do an angle a little bit closer. Um, back here, definitely. Here we've got eyes straight on. Here we've got uh, two... Um, you know, one's going this way, one's going that way. I mean, and that's probably the prototype that they took pictures of. And these things are, you know, crafted. Now, another thing that I always will always admit to is that that when you do a likeness of a character with a human face, it's always much harder to get it right. And it always is. Um, here we have 326 again. It's a one six scale mini bust. Um, this one's not that bad, actually. Um probably why a lot of us Star Wars fans prefer the monsters, the guys with helmets, the Vaders, the Stormtroopers, the Boba Fats, the Jango Fats, all of those, because when you get busts of those characters, you're just, you're getting more of the character over a likeness of the actor. So let's do, let's do, I love this gun. I've had to actually talk my wife out of getting me a replica of this because for its price, uh, the replica without a holster, I could buy the Ghost, which is out, you know, it, it's coming. You got to back it right now on, ha on HasLab. And, you know, would the Ghost ever leave the house? Probably not. Look at the fingernails. Nice, nice detail there. Nice fingernails. Um, no, neither would, neither would this really. I'd be too afraid, um, you know, 
one to lose it and at $500. That's a lot. So really nice detail with the gun. I really like this. This is, uh, for me as the character, this is Luke, not quite the Jedi, wants to be the Jedi, but still relying on the weapons of old, uh, especially when he's trying to get through Bespin uh, to find Han and Leia and Chewie and the droids. So I do like that look. And this one's this one's growing on me more and more as I um as I uh, put it together here. I was not sold on the face on the box, but that's one reason I like doing these reviews. And I love that Gentle Giant sells these, uh, you know, sells these, give sends me these, and then I actually get a chance to talk to you about it and a chance to look at it myself. And we are going to put... That's interesting because... Do you do this? Do you do this? If we look at it on the box... And I didn't even realize that as I was flipping it around... How different the... Uh, you know, the different... That there would be different hands. So lightsaber, lightsaber... And then... Blaster on this side. So... We're supposed to do it like this which is more of a defensive pose right near the neck. Um, no, it's okay. Um, it feels comfortable. There, there it sits. There it feels comfortable. Um, let's kind of dig in this, actually. You know, So you could get several different poses out of, out of Luke here uh, with hands and blasters. Um, so let's give you some height to the top of the lightsaber. We're talking about eight and a half inches. You're about seven inches wide nice piece to go on the mantle um but again i think i would lean towards putting the blaster up there more um so let's give you some perspective here um again character with a helmet this is a power of the force bausch that i was recently gifted from a friend um so she's a 375 kind of fits right in there and then here is an archive boba fett uh six inch figure right there so Looped to the top of his head about just a little about six and a half inches. I like it better than what's pictured on the box. And sadly, that is not exactly what you're getting. I don't know if it's lighting, if it's just this this pudding face or something, but what's in the box is so much better. So um that's what I'm telling you as fans of my channel and people that have watched that actually we've had it a couple times where the product itself in hand has been far superior than what is pictured on the box. It's always a chance you're going to take, especially if you're not seeing it at a convention, at a show, in person. Um, you know, it's it's part of the business. It's one of those things. This is Bob from Total Toy Recon. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And may the force be with you.